Alright hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mario Power Tennis, or Mario Tennis Power Tour in the US. Last episode we did a whole bunch of training, we've leveled up so much and we've gained offensive power shots. In fact, I've done more power shot games um, in addition to the ones I've shown. Oh, I've got a text here, hang on. Back to you in a minute. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's get back to it. So, uh, this episode, we're actually going to head into the practice courts where the coaches are. Oh, hang on, Blade. That's the way to the tennis courts. Do you need the coaches? Yes, because there is some additional training that we can get for the absolute basics of how to play. I'm going to pass. I just had the coaches give me pointers the other day. I'll just go take a look around. Don't worry about me. Good luck. I'll catch you later. Tennis Academy teaching court. Isn't this your first time? Um... Someone said that. I don't know who said it. Oh, this coach. No one takes training on the teaching court seriously. But if you go through training here, it'll help your game out. You're new, right? Uh, no. Oh, duh. How can I forget? I know where I met you. Uh, what the hell was that? Your blade. Definitely blade. And you're exactly the kind of person who needs our coaching. You've got guts, but really lousy technique. If you had technique, you wouldn't have suffered the way you did at the welcome workout that we never got to see as um, viewers. Temper temper, I'm just telling the truth. I don't usually do this, but why didn't I give you a tour? It's okay, I'm free at the moment. Ooh, you're free, are you? Come on, follow me. Ooh, these courts look really nice. Oh, make sure you keep up. I like these little additions. They uh, give a little personality to each person. Even without text boxes. This is the serving court. You can get pointers on serving technique. Can someone show us how it works? Ah, they don't give a shit, do they? Us? Show you? Get real. You do it, coach. You all should be ashamed. How hard is it to show them a serve? Sorry, game. Looks like your example will have to wait. That's okay. No worries. I guess you'll have to try the lessons yourself to find out what they're like. Okay, let's move. Move on, brother. Keep up. What's going on in this court? They're just swinging their racket. They're not really hitting balls, are they? This is the stroke court. Here they'll teach you everything from the theoretical to the technical. Watch up, 2K. I'm showing the student around the teaching courts. And where did you find the spare time to be doing that? Right. Maybe I should be getting back to the net play court. Looks like all my loafing on the job has got me in trouble. You know where my court is, right? Uh, yeah, you just pan to it. Come learn some net play. I know it'll help you out. Ta-ta for now, Blade. That's how you know she's British. Ta-ta. Alright, let's go check out her court then. Are you here to learn net play? Yes. First, I'm going to teach you the serve and volley. S is the server, and R is the receiver. First, S hits a serve, then R receives it. The server needs to hit deep, right up to the service line. If the serve isn't deep enough, the opponent will get a return ace while you rush the net. But by hitting a deep serve, the receiver can't control the ball or hit a strong return. The server should serve into the center, and when the ball is returned, it will volley to the inside. If the server isn't in front of the service line for the volley, it won't work. C. Do you understand how the serve and volley works now? Yep, that's simple enough. The sportsman learns with his head and remembers with his body. Let's do some practice until your body gets a feel for the serve and volley. Serve and dash to the net. When the ball is returned, a volley to the opposite side. If you succeed from all four sides of the court, you pass. Sweet. So hit a deep serve this way. Didn't hit ball from... Oh man. 
Try it again. What? Oh, come on, I'm too slow. Run! There we go. Nice volley. Not looking good for me though. Run! Yeah! Nice volley. Oh no! <laughs> Two experience points. Wow. Alright, see if I can get those. Let's try that again. I bl you blew it. I can't stand for blunders to simple practice. Got a little bit to go before you pass the net play. Remember, serve and volley. Yeah, let's try again. Hang on. Ah, there you go. Just gotta run a bit more. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. Sweet! That's four out of four. Clear! 50 points. Give me 25. And ah, Tina, 25. Net play practice level one. Oh, great. There's more to it. You did wonderfully. I'm going to pass you in the serve and volley. I'll prepare a lesson for the next technique I'm going to teach you, so look forward to it. Can we do it now? Oh. Guess we're going to have to wait. Let's move on to this below. Then, are you here to take? Uh, sorry, are you here to take lessons in stroke play? Yes. The first thing I'm going to teach you is service reception. S is the server and R is the receiver. First, S hits a serve, and then R receives it. Sorry about that. I had to reply to another text. Uh, S the server, R is the receiver. First, S hits a serve, then R receives it. The server will try to hit their serve as close to the service line as possible. They'll try for a service ace on their first serve. Not that aces are easy to get. If they can't get the ace, they'll try for a point with a serve and volley. Players that do this are tough, but that's exactly why you can't give them a chance to do it. If you let them get away with it, they'll gain confidence and you won't be able to touch them. Hey, this is like countering the other girl um, that we just learned from. To keep their confidence in check, you have to return deep into your opponent's court. In theory, when receiving strong first saves, <laughs> I don't know what this action is, you should return the ball to the server. And when you do, put spin on it. If you're a right-handed receiver and you're hitting across the left, use forehand topspin for us, that's eight. With right side spin, the ball will bounce outside the court where it's hard for the opponent to hit. When hitting across to the right, right you should put a slice spin on their forehand, so we should be pressing B. Use this to hamper your opponent's net play. The game will be practically yours. Excellent. Now you understand the theory of service perception. Let's try practicing to see if you really get how it works. I am going to have you receive serves just the way I explained. Righty receives hit serves from the left with top spin and serves from the right with slice. This is assuming you're receiving with forehand only. Don't forget that. If you succeed from all four sides of the court, you pass the practice. Oh, great. You hit a backhand. What? What am I doing wrong? You didn't put any slice on the... What the actual... Okay. Oh, wait, but that... That seems okay, but... Oh, whatever. I, I swear I did the same thing earlier. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. We failed it. Come back. Yeah. Let's do another shot. I'm sure I can do it. There we go. There we go. Simple enough. 50 experience points. That's 25 to me. And 25 to you. Pro practice. Level 1. You did it! Congratulations! With service reception like that, the server's going to have it rough. I'll put together the next lesson, so don't neglect your practicing. Excellent. I'm guessing that we can't do any more with her. Who are you? When it comes to strokes, I'm better than anyone else out there. You can tell, can't you? Yeah. Did anyone dance it for a second? I won't run or hide. I'll play them right there on the spot. Oh, you're not going to teach me. I guess it's... Fortunegger? 
Would you like some serving lessons? Okay, let's get started then. Since this is your first lesson, I'm going to start by having you learn basic serving. Getting a service ace is the ideal of course, but we'll deal with those a bit later, what say? Of course, you won't be in any games if your opponent is getting return aces off your solid serves. I don't know what the hell this Terminator accent is, it's, it's shit. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you to go out there and own the game in low level lessons. But I do think you should keep the receiver in mind when you serve and direct your serve accordingly. Now let's get down to the lesson. I want you to look at this diagram. See that S? That's the server. He aims for the opposite corner, over here. I'll try to make this a little more clear by dividing it up. You see E and F? If you serve there, that's a fault. A, B, C and D are your only valid targets. G, H and I are the opposing player's possible positions. Starting to C is risky when your opponent is in G. If the sub is too easy to return, you'll find yourself in a real pickle. You want to aim for D and make your opponent scurry as much as possible. If your opponent is in I, you should serve into C. H is a strong position since C and D can both be reached quickly. But whichever you serve into, your opponent will have to move so you can take your pick. Now you know- now you're going to serve using what you just learned. Show me you can nail a serve from each of the court's four sides. Whack! Hell yes. Nice. Hell yes. Everyone knows I'm ace with aces. Right, 25 for me. And 25 for you. Service practice, level one. Nice job, you did, sorry. Nice job, you did everything I like, just like I thought you'd do. Serving from all four sides. I think it's safe to say you passed your year training, at least. Still, it'll take some time before you master how to apply what you just learned in real batch. Once you've got this down, come see me for the next lesson. How about now? Oh, okay. How about you? I want to have a service contest. Sorry, that's the, who's this guy? This big, huge dude. Uh, I want to have a service contest. You interested? Like Phil Mitchell? Oh, you are? You want to see who can get a service ace first? Yeah. What? You're okay with that too? Actually, a service ace contest is a bit much. Let's play a game where we score with the shot following the serve. Serving stroke, serving volley, it don't matter. You just have to get the point. If someone scores off your serve, then that means your serve was bad. But if you can score on your second shot after the serve, then that means you serve well. Scoring on the second shot should give us an idea of who's the best server. So you like my idea? Want to give a service contest a try? Right, let's go over the rules. Take turns serving one ball at a time and play for the second shot. Scoring your opponent by your second shot to earn a point. Serve from all four sides and whoever opens the two point gap first wins. Got it? And the contest is on. <laughs> I could have returned the ball, so that one's yours. <laughs> I could have returned the ball, so I lose that one. Huh? <laughs> I could have returned the ball, so I lost that one. I could have returned a ball, so that one's yours. I could have returned a ball, so I lose that one. 
Yes! That's 50 points for me. Alright, we've got a level up from that. Excellent. Let's give ourselves a little bit of side spin. And... Yeah, why not bust up our... Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think I need a bit more top spin. As for her, let's give her some more speed and some more volley. And that's Service Smash Level 1. You know, I just realized. Your Varsity, of course I'm going to lose. Not sure I understand why Varsity player needs the teaching courts. I won't forgive you for challenging me in jest. The day may be yours, but in our next contest, you'll get just what's coming to you. Yeah, bring it, bitch. I won't forgive you for challenging me in jest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you like me to check out your serve? Right, let's put your serve through cleanly right now, then. You take the other end of the court. Uh, okay. Wait, it's back to this guy? Okay, hit me up first, so with top spin. That serve was unreal! If you're hitting top spin like that, why are you still a junior? You just said on varsity. Okay, next hit me your serve with some slice on it. That was an incredible slice serve. Use that on a senior class and it won't be easy to return. That's one serve a straight ball. Can't give a diagnostic to listen to my serve. If you're hitting 176 kilometers per hour serves, why are you still a junior? That's what I want to know. You serve with tremendous power for someone in junior class. No matter which serve you're using a match, you can easily go for an ace. Now you know where you stand service-wise. Use this knowledge to make the most of your training. Yeah, I knew that already. I always have my serve measure with a speed gun. And I'm so happy when it gets faster. I go crazy with power training. How about you guys? Until just recently, I thought you could serve it to the corner to where to get an ace. But I learned that you can't win ranking matches if you're always going for aces. Before I took lessons here, I thought a serve was just opening up a game. Coach taught me how important a serve really is. Coach rules. Let's go check out those chickens I saw around here. Oh, it's been replaced with a dude. This is called Practice Swing Pond. There's a story that goes with it. Want to hear it? They say if you do a lot of practice swings, a great fairy appears to reward you. Who's going to fall for a story like that? Seriously, what a load of nonsense. Gonna give it a shot? I fell for it at first, but it's a secret to everybody, if you know what I mean. Hey, this is Legend of Zelda stuff. Hey, can, I, can I have a go? Aw, the hell out of here. Who are you? Hey, want to have a netplay contest with me? Sure. If you're kept to my challenge, then you must be good at netplay. This is online play, right? Netplay? <laughs> this contest will show you whose netplay is better. Let me explain the rules. S is the server and R is the receiver. S serves and R receives. So far, so good. Each is allowed one shot from outside the service line. The server has to dash to the net right after hitting the serve. Likewise, the receiver has to dash to the net after returning the serve. Then both have to play using volleys without falling behind the service line. Player retreats behind the service line, they lose the rally and forfeit a point. Understand the rules? Hmm, sounds simple enough. We'll play games with these rules. Whoever wins, the set takes all. Okay, let's do this. Could to return the ball, so that's your point. Nice volley, your point. <laughs> What? I couldn't hit a volley? What the hell are you on about? <laughs> ah. Nice. That came to me. That's ace. <laughs> I think I've got your number. What? <laughs> Damn it. That's 
game set to match to me. Excellent. That's net play match, level one. Oh snap, I lost. You're not a pushover to beat me at net play. Just watch, I'll beat you one of these days. One of these days. One of these days. Bang, two, straight to the moon. It sure feels great to land an angled volley in your opponent's court. Are you able to deal with net play? Yep. Time your dash is in the point in net play. If you don't time your dash in the net right, you'll wind up fodder for lobs or passing shots. I'm learning to volley so I can move up a class. Once I've got net play down, I can put the pressure on my opponent to keep the upper hand. Don't lose your patience with rally, starts with the baseline strokes. Your best bet is to guard the centre line and force your opponent into a corner. Do you ever feel like it's all over when you're at the baseline and your opponent's over the net? I used to think that too until I started lessons. If you learn shots here, you'll keep your cool no matter what kind of jam you're in. I'm double handed for my backhand stroke. Do you know why? Yes. That's right, I don't have the power to hit strong backhand single handed. Double handed, I can use the twist of my body to hit a powerful backhand. If you want to improve, you have to know which spin to apply and where to hit the ball. And I guess that's it for this episode then, because we speak, we're speaking, <laughs> we've spoken to everyone, and uh, we've done level one of all of the training sessions, and we've challenged two people and kicked their asses at their own game. So until then, sorry, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode, where we actually go and take on the varsity teams with our newfound knowledge.